And item G is an ordinance amending Chapter 12.84, regulating adult business and massage establishments. Um, it's and this is a consideration for resolution. Staff yes. report, please, from our attorney, it looks like. Yes, thank you. <coughs> so this evening before you is a proposed amendment to the zoning code. And what it would, um, currently the zoning code treats massage establishments like adult businesses. And what this amendment proposes to do is to no longer treat massage establishments that receive a certificate of exemption from the city in that manner and instead treat them similar to a professional service and uh, personal services businesses. The reason for that is this. There is a new state law uh, which changes how cities can regulate massage personnel and massage establishments. Prior to the city law, excuse me, prior to the state law being enacted, um, this industry was subject to regulation at the municipal level uh, solely. And uh, as a result of that, the city has a um, complete regulatory scheme that regulates both massage technicians by requiring them to prove certain educational requirements and undergo, undergo a thorough uh, background check by the city. And if approved, they receive a permit. Similarly, for massage establishments, the applicant must go uh, undergo a thorough check and review by the police department and if approved, receive a license. Uh, there are those in the massage industry who felt that they were um, being treated unfairly by being lumped in with uh, adult businesses um, and wanted to distinguish the legitimate practice of um, massage therapeutics as different from the sex industry, which is oftentimes some, some of these establishments are a cover for those activities. Uh, as a result of that, the, the state recently enacted a law and said that it would uh, take over part of the regulation of uh, the massage industry. And it would do that by certifying individuals who demonstrated certain qualifications. And once they received a certificate from, this, from the state, they can no longer be required to undergo any city process. Similarly, those establishments that are owned by a sole proprietor who is a state certified massage technician or who employs only state certified technicians would no longer be required to get a license from the city. So what that means is you end up having two different classes um, a personnel and two different regulatory schemes for because the the process that the state offers is purely voluntary not everybody is going to go and get um, a certification from the state in that case the city can, can if so if, if the massage personnel or the massage establishment does not get the state certification then they're still subject to the city's existing laws if however they do get the state certification then they're really subject to the state laws and the state has really uh, limited what the city can then regulate. So uh, the city uh, recently uh, introduced an ordinance that uh, addresses, the, the city council recently introduced an ordinance that addresses these changes in state laws. And what it does is proposes to have a certificate of exemption that uh, those who are state certified would still need to come to the city and show that they do have a certificate of exemption, prove their identi identity and prove their uh, entitlement to an exemption to the city. But once they have that, then by state law, uh, you can no longer prevent those establishments from being treated the same as adult businesses. So the piece that you have this evening, the amendment to the zoning code, is a companion piece to the ordinance that has already gone to the city council and is necessary in order to comply with the state law. Does the commission have, uh, do the commissioners have any questions for me on this? Any questions? I do have one. How does this compare to other cities? Uh, uh, is this mandatory, the same concept through all the cities? And when you say the city, uh, is that the same for us, as the requirements as other cities, or do we take a different position? Well, there are, 
the state law applies to all cities, Correct. but there are different approaches that cities have. So one approach is to just do a broad exemption and say, okay, if you're um, if you have a state certification, we're just going to exempt you from everything. And um, I thought that that was a little bit lax um, in that approach, at least for San Bruno, because there is some authority that is still allowed to the cities. You can require them, as we are doing, to um, identify themselves to obtain some proof from the city that they are entitled to this exemption. They're still subject to certain health and safety regulations. And, and so I didn't recommend that approach. Uh, another approach is to require is to, is, to not, is to require all personnel who wish to um, engage in the uh, practice of massage to obtain a state certification. So while it's voluntary at the state level, some cities are making it mandatory. I also didn't recommend this approach because I'm not sure of the legal efficacy of that at this time. So I do anticipate that over the course of the next year or two, as, this, as things sort of shake out, um, there may be some amendments that we may need to uh, come back to you with, but at this time this seems the, the, the appropriate approach for San Bruno. Okay, thank you. Have any, are there any questions? Okay, thank you. All right, so this is a consider, consider a resolution, so is this an official resolution? Okay, yeah, so this is a roll call vote. Correct. Okay. Um, so, so is there a recommendation right. for? If we could just do the roll. Just to okay. do an official yeah. roll call vote, okay. Commissioner Samut. Aye. Commissioner Marshall. Aye. Vice Chair Chase. Aye. Chair Johnson. Aye. Commissioner Biasati. Aye. And Commissioner Peterson. Aye. Motion passes Aye. six zero. This will next go on to the city council for final adoption. Thank you.